I'm about to go do um, some trainings to teach people how to use Narcan. There is a Filipino restaurant that I want to go to. Hey y'all, hey, welcome to another vlog. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tiffany. I am a full-time mental health and substance abuse therapist bringing you food, lifestyle, and mental health content. Girl, it is Saturday and it is currently 8.20 a.m. I am up, dressed, and all of that. My body woke me up at like 4.49, didn't get up out the bed until a little bit after 6. I am actually on my way to a work event, girl. I'm not gonna work a full day, but I am gonna be there from like 8.30 to 12-ish. I am doing some Narcan trainings. Uh, for those of you who are unfamiliar, Narcan is an opioid overdose reversal medication. Naloxone and its other derivatives are the only thing that can reverse an opioid overdose. It will not reverse any other drug overdose, only opioids. So I'm about to go do um, some trainings to teach people how to use Narcan. I'll be there again for like four, four and a half hours. This is a day in the life of a therapist girl. I don't work weekends often. Most of the time it's just like community events and things like that that we'll have going on. And then after that, there is a Filipino restaurant that I wanna go to. Um, anytime I have to go to like a different city for whatever reason, I always go through my Yelp saved restaurants and figure out which restaurants I really want to experience. So, I am going to do that after the event. My shirt says I pray and go to therapy. I was a little nervous about wearing it to a work situation because, you know, it says pray. But, like, I'm a black woman. I'm a therapist. I bought this shirt to encourage black people to pray and go to therapy. Um, so, yeah, we'll see how it goes, girl. I'm a little nervous, but it's whatever. Are you kidding me? I'm not second favorite animal only second to giraffes they're so majestic fun fact if I ever hit the lottery I would buy a big old house and a horse I would not buy an expensive car I would buy a horse look at how gorgeous Y'all, this restaurant is actually at a golf course. I am in Herndon, Virginia, and I am actually at a golf course that is open to the public. I always thought golf courses were only for private memberships and rich folk, but this is the restaurant. It's called Egg Carne, and they have Filipino food. So we're going to go in and check it out. I think I'm going to order that, the sea log um, breakfast bowl, and I'm going to also get the adobo pork belly fries. These are the adobo fries. Oh my God, they have like cheese on them. The sauce, everything looks so good. These are hand cut fries. I saw the bowl of the raw potatoes and my food did take a while. So I'm pretty sure it's hot and fresh. This is the salag bowl with pork belly. I didn't realize that the egg was gonna be a little runny, but I'm gonna do what I need to do and I'm gonna tear it up. I'm outside for the lighting. This is so nice. So part of my summer bucket list was to eat alone. Lunch time a month. That was good. And they weren't shy with the toppings either. Mm, let's get this bite.
this is good they got like hot dogs and stuff too and some of the guys who are golfing they're just coming in and they're grabbing a hot dog i guess because they just want something quick and fast to eat with their beers and stuff mm. The breakfast is served all day. Right now it's like close to two o'clock. This is the downside, this little cup of water. Let's bite into this bowl. Mm. Mm. It's the same sauce on the bowl that's on the fries. This is good. Now, because the um, sauce is similar on this bowl as the fries, you don't need both if you're dining alone. But if you're sharing, it's fine. Boy, this is good. Even with that egg and me not liking like the wet yolk, as usual, like most places, they give you a whole lot of rice. Mm. I wish I had more of the pickled like toppings up here. This is hella good. This food is good, y'all. Like real good. And this is real cheddar cheese not American cheese. So this is, imagine elevated bacon cheese fries. That's what this is with the adobo pork and the cheese. It's so good. I wonder if they would give me extra sauce. Mm, excuse me. But adobo is, um, at least when I make adobo, I usually use chicken. Now adobo chicken, requires equal parts soy sauce and white vinegar then you add some sugar and some other seasonings i like to put thai basil in mine i know that's not traditional but that's the way that i like to make mine and it's so delicious that way so that's what you can imagine as far as this flavor profile you see the seared pieces of the meat can you see that color? That's what a flavor is. Especially with the fat on the pork. And then this bowl. My God. It's so good. Like this is a good bowl. I could see this being like a good hangover breakfast. Mm. A nice little lunch or whatever. Like now, mm, 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 mm. I really do know how to find some good food. This is the adobo sauce. It's thick. So they must have added something or whatever they buy makes it kind of gelatinous, but it still tastes like that vinegary soy umami sauce. I asked for two containers and they graciously gave it to me and they also apologized for the weight. I said, I ain't care. I figured it was hot.
That was good. So here's the thing about the fries. Because it was real cheddar cheese and it was melted very well, it's not like it was spread out on all of the fries. You know what I mean? Because you know like with nacho cheese is wet so it goes everywhere, but real cheese doesn't do that. So that was one of the downsides about the cheese being real cheese. But I still like the flavor profile of real cheese second next time i get that bowl because there will be a next time i would get double protein so i would get double of that same protein or i would try a different protein and add that to it because i did want more meat on that bowl but everything was good the fries were amazing the sauce on its own is very salty so if you need to be mindful of your salt baby you gotta go slow you got to go slow with that sauce okay but maybe that's why they just drizzle it lightly on the fries and on the bowl because it is super salty i am home now after working on a saturday and having my foodie adventure so i figured i'd share a little bit so i mentioned that um once a month, I dine alone because that's part of my summer bucket list, but I didn't tell you why I have a summer bucket list. One day I was on TikTok and this girl said, listen, we're in our 30s and we have nothing to live for anymore. So I'm going to make a summer bucket list. And I said, you know what? That is an amazing idea because it'll get me to think of something that I really want to do. So I have like various things on my summer bucket list. Um, some of them I have already accomplished. Some of them are continuous and some of them I still need to work on. So um, one is to dine alone. When I was a little kid, I remember seeing people eating out by themselves and I would always whisper a little prayer for them. Um, it was obviously because I assumed that because they were alone, they were lonely. But now that I'm an adult, I recognize that that's not always the case. But I do, but I do still usually pray for people who I see by themselves. I just whisper a quick prayer to myself. One of the things that I'm learning about myself is since quality time is my love language, I tend to want to do things with other people. Other people are not always available and or willing to do the things that I want to do. So sometimes I wouldn't end up doing them or I'd sit in my sadness because I was unable to do them. So part of my summer bucket list of dining alone means that I need to get out of my own way and do the things that I want to do. I really like to eat delicious foods and sometimes I don't have people to go with me to eat that food. So although I'm in a supper club, although I have a husband who's not a picky eater, although I have other foodie friends, they all have lives as well. So if I want to get through my Yelp list of 900 plus restaurants, literally, then I need to be willing to dine alone. So that's something that I'm doing. And it's a good way for me to spend quality time with myself one of the things that makes it a little bit easier is the fact that I am doing like fast casual restaurants, so not restaurants that have a waiter or waitress. Um, so that makes it a little bit easier. I have been eating outside for two out of the three restaurants. Last month, I went to Chick-fil-A because our Chick-fil-A is nice. Like they serve your food to your table, they come check on you, etc. So that was nice as well. Um, and I like the fast casual type of vibe. Um, today was very nice because I got to set, I got to sit outside and eat. And, um, there was this lady out there when I came outside and I was just like, Hey, like, if you hear me talking, I'm just talking to myself because I'm a food vlogger. Then she actually came over and was like, Oh, what did you get? I used to live in the Philippines, blah, blah, blah. So that was really cool to have that type of experience. And it's not a experience that I would usually have if I was with someone else. So um, what I'm realizing is that I have to love me regardless of whether other people have time for me or not. So that is all that I have for you all in this vlog. I hope that you do something that makes you feel good and well hope that you are taking care of yourself even if other people aren't available to you so that is all that i have i'll catch you in the next vlog bye